Welcome to day 60 of the Messages from the Universe project. My name is Julia Bernatsky. I'm the creator of this project and the founder of Untamed Hearts. When I started this project, I said that it's going to last for, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's going to last for 60 days. And it was in the very beginning of the social distancing and the lockdown in New York. And I couldn't imagine that 60 day will go just like at the blink of an eye and that so many things had changed from the day one, from the day we started the project and like the whole new reality opened up. And it just gives me this point of um, reflection, this moment when I could look back and remember exactly how it started, what was planned, and how it all unfolded. In the process of messages from the universe project, people ask me to continue. And at, at least for now, I'm going to say that we're going to go and extend it to 101 days. So we're going to go do another 51 days. And let's see what happens in that time frame, during that time. Um, life is a miraculous thing. And today I'm celebrating the day number 60 of the Messages from the Universe Project. I'm celebrating unity. I'm celebrating my friends. I don't know what I would do without them. And I'm sending love to all of you who were part of the uni Messages from the Universe Project or not. I'm sending love to everybody. And um, I wanted to say today that staying connected with people, even when we are not physically together, um, became one of the most relevant thing in the world, I believe. Um, people connect through the screen. People connect through the phone, through messages employing technology in every way possible. But human beings are human beings and we are social creatures and human connection, emotional human connection is very important. So I'm looking forward to the day when we can all get together once again, hug each other, smile, laugh, and do it all without wearing masks and without thinking how close are we in proximity to each other. Are you ready to receive a message from the universe? As always, I like to close my eyes and exhale. Exhale all the worries, all the anxious thoughts, all the doubts, all the uncertainty, anything and everything that might be in our way of being present right here, right now entering the white room, that place inside, where we go to when we talk to our angels, when we talk to God, when we talk to the Creator, whoever you speak with, when we speak to the universe. What do we need to hear today? We got two messages. Trust your instinct. Ooh. This is the message that I have on my screen, on the screen of my computer. Trust your instinct. And I just had um, a meeting with, with like a group of people where we were talking about the thin line between trusting your instinct, your intuition, and thinking where is like the wild imagination and where is the instinct. And it's a beautiful thing when you, we are aligned, because when we are aligned, when we're connected to your truth, we know exactly where the instinct is, where that intuition is. And it is very important to trust yourself. And I say to myself, like, all the time, um, knowing that the process that we are going to is exactly what we need to go through, is what helps me to trust like, I don't have to trust the person. I don't have to even trust myself in the moment. Because sometimes, like, maybe I'm imagining things completely. But trusting that I need to go through that particular experience 
that the experience that I'm going through or the thoughts that are coming into my world are exactly what I need to go through to see past it or to 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 be connected to what's next or to learn something right and so i try i first connect to that place first i connect to the place where i take responsibility for what's happening and to change the mindset the shift what's happening in my thoughts or my view of what is happening around me to to say to myself i trust the process and from coming from that let's see what happens and of course it's very important to be connected to your truth to be connected like i'm putting my hand right here to be connected you know how people say like trust your gut because it's almost the instinct it's like almost in the gut it's in the gut so trust your instinct beautiful message and another one is again we're getting this message again Obviously, it is very important one. Healing happens when we elevate our vibration into balance. I think that this is most relevant message and we've been getting it almost every day, even though I took completely new deck of cards today. I mixed it up completely just to make sure that we do a good job with mixing the cards, right? And we got the same message again. So healing can only happen when we go above of illness healing happens on the level of energy healing happens on the higher vibration of energy and what does that mean it's that place we where we are aligned when we are connected to that place where we are in balance getting into the place where we can create peace with however life is or is not. That place where we are peaceful and balanced is the beginning of healing. When we are accepting reality, when we are centering ourselves, our being, aligning our body, our mind, our soul, and opening ourselves to receiving healing. When we're turning down the noise, when we're letting go of fears, when we exhale, when we let go, when we give trust to our body, when we are connected to our body. Another way is to really change the awareness and shift the consciousness so that our brain gives signals to every organ in our body to behave certain way and the way that it will be healing itself, communicating with every organ in our body, every cell of our body, every part of our body, programming and reprogramming it in the way that we are healing. And to get to that place, we first need to go into a place of balance, of different awareness, of different consciousness, and in that place, our vibration is different than if we were in place of fears or anxiety. So here it is for aligning ourselves, for elevating vibration. And it's a beautiful path. Trusting yourself, trans trusting your instinct, trusting your gut, knowing that we have information if we are open to listen. If we open ourselves enough, and when we get to the place of balance, we have information on how to heal an elevating vibration into balance, it is what allow us to enter that space where the healing can happen. Thank you, universe. Those are beautiful two messages. They're very powerful. So this is day 60. I'm celebrating it today. I am aligning myself and letting go of everything and I'm being in the place of gratitude for every single message, for every single moment, for every single person who joined us and thank you universe for guiding us. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you on board and let you know when the next message comes up. 
Um, if you like this video, give us thumbs up. I uh, would love to hear your count comments, even if you're watching it as a replay. And with that said, guys, enjoy this gorgeous day. Please take a really good care of yourself. Give yourself a hug and um, self-care, self-love. And remember, there's so much more goodness in the world than negative things. Sending you lots of love. And I'll see you tomorrow.